In this video, I'm going to be going over the configuration of both the Membarium WordPress uh, side of things and Infusionsoft in order to get parent and child accounts to work. So if you've purchased Membarium Pro, in addition to the regular settings, you're going to see this umbrella account option. Now what I've done to turn it on is I've clicked on this button. This button by default will be no, so I turned it on, so it says yes. Now the first thing you'll notice is whenever a child is added, there's an action set that's called. I'll go over that in a minute, but we do have this enroll a child action set. If I go into this one, you'll see that there's a disconnect child account. And over here, we have a disconnect child account action set. Um, we haven't created uh, one when the parent is added, so I haven't added that. And then we have a parent tag. So we've defined one tag inside of Infusionsoft that's designated as the one that makes a member of the site a parent. And the main thing that this does is it allows us to use the short codes on the, uh, the manage members type of page so that you can see how many child accounts you have so that you can add new members and so that you can see a listing of your existing child members. Uh, you do have to specify a field. So this is a custom field in my case it could be another field but it's basically a text field where the child um, the child and the parent have a code that Membarium adds in there that allows it to manage what's going on um, in here I've added the number nine this is how many child accounts the parent is allowed to add and this is um, a, uh, a cache duration so uh, there's a certain number of seconds that um, uh, we want the system to preserve uh, the information. And this is to keep the APIs from having to check too often. So uh, not really that important uh, most of the time. So um, that's really all the configuration that's necessary here. So let's go over and start looking at the action sets. Whenever you create a new child, this action set is called and in my case it's very simple I'm actually um, calling what I call a trigger tag that's telling an Infusionsoft campaign to go and give the access and then when it disconnects we're triggering another um, Infusionsoft campaign that takes away their access so let's open up the campaign builder and let's see exactly what that does so these are the two entry points for um, starting a parent and starting a child. This one is called by the action set. This one here is called by the action set when you're removing uh, the child access. But um, just so that you see the difference, this is something that I call elsewhere when I'm creating a new account. We're making them a parent. This one doesn't really matter. We're giving them the tag that makes them a parent. So that matches this tag right here. And then we're calling this other give access routine, which is right here. And this is actually pretty simple. It's giving them a Membarium membership tag. So this is just a regular membership tag on that WordPress site. And then it goes over here where we assign them through an action set a password so we're calling a Membarium uh, HTTP post to do that we're waiting a minute to make sure that happens and then we're sending them a welcome message sending them their credentials if they're a child it's just a little bit different we are not giving them a membership tag it's going to inherit the membership tag from the parent uh, this is just a tag that we've defined so that uh, in, people in customer service can look at that account very quickly and know that they're a child member and not a parent. So you're not gonna be doing any billing work with this. Uh, this is something we're doing that's not really related. Um, and then we send them here into the welcome because we do have to give them a password and we do have to send them a welcome message. So let's go over here into our data account and you'll see that the reason it recognizes this as a data account is because there is this mem membership tag and the reason it recognizes them as a parent is because we've given them that tag. I'm going to go over here to child number four. 
uh, this is the one that in the previous video I added and you'll see that in this case this person only has this tag it doesn't have a membership tag at all and this tag right here has nothing to do with um, how Membarium manages it uh, there is one more thing I did want to point out if you remember over here we have this parent child code so if I go into the custom fields and look at the parent child code you'll notice that there's a prefix PRNT and then a very long number um, I'll just note that the last three numbers are 3502 when we create a child account it adds the prefix CHLD but it adds the same number you see it ends in 3502 and this is how it connects the accounts together.